Weird War Weirdos. It's another one day. Today is another shit on my table episode. So today we are going to showcase my American dust collection. Ooh, dust. Now I use dust uh, stuff for other games. So uh, it's not, you'll see. So let's go check it out. All right, guys. So here is my American Dust collection. Bunch of shit. So first off, a couple things. So I do play Dust, but um, I use the Dust stuff for my games of Battleground, Weird War II, or whatever else, right? So I've I've uh, changed the bases on most of the figures. Uh, they got the the standard twenty five millimeter. Uh, circular base instead of the larger dust bases. Um, it's not a big deal. You just prime them off and mount them back on. Um, and then also the vehicles, uh, the vehicles that can, I took their, their large round bases off cause I don't base vehicles except for this guy. This guy, <laughs> the design of that little guy is shit. I mean, I don't see how it's like, it'd be, it'd be like walking in a battlefield with uh, high heels on. So anyway, I had to base that guy, so I based him because he wouldn't stand up by himself. But everything else, um, you know, that I'm working on will not have bases. Okay, so let's jump into it. So everything's kind of organized in weapons or kind of categories. So up front here is we have the headquarters crews. So first here is we've got our HQ team. We got the CO. Then we got a mechanic. We got a medic, and we got the radio operator. Okay. Then over here, we got a couple different versions of Bazooka Joe. Then we got uh, Rosie. The big old Bazooka. Super Bazooka. And I cannot remember... That's if Sergeant that Victory, guy. loser. I got him. Because I haven't played that campaign yet. And then there's like... I think his name is the chef or the cook or some shit like that. Again, I haven't played that campaign yet, so I haven't really read up on it. And then we've got... Um, was it, who was his Sergeant Rhino? There's Rhino, which looks just like Nick from British Legion with the eye patch. That's you, Nick. You need to get some royalties for that shit. And then this is, I think, Ozzy something or other. Uh, he's like a special character in Power Armor. All right. Excuse my ignorance on the uh, dust. Uh, personalities so I'm, i'll get to it eventually all right so over here we've got a ford observer team we got the ford observer and the radio guy and then we've got a sniper team there's the spotter and the sniper then here we've got just a bunch of um shotgun guys guys with shotguns some are painted some aren't obviously then we've got, these are guys with the assault rifles with uh, grenade launchers, with uh, auxiliary grenade launchers. There's various models and editions and whatever, but that's what they have the grenade uh, launcher slung underneath the rifle. Then here we've got kind of like carbine guys. It's just kind of like uh, basically those rifles without the grenade launchers. There's a couple of those guys. Then we got some flamethrower boys. Woo! Barbecue boys, I guess you call them in the, in the game. A couple of those dudes. Then we got some uh, machine gunners. White machine gunners right here. Then we've got some bazooka troops right there. Then we've got some guys in the power armor, the American power armor. All right. Now the vehicles, man. So, again, um, I play, you know, with the dust stuff outside of the game. So a lot of this stuff might uh, be a little different than uh, what the dust stuff has. But, so anyway, we got this guy's the hot dog, which is a walker with a vehicle-mounted flamethrower. Badass. 
Then here we've got the steel rain, which is like he shoots. He's got a petard mortar and he's got some rockets. Now I can take that turret off and replace it with just like a more kind of like a another kind of World War II support. This would be like a short 75, kind of what you would find on the, um, the Scott, the M5 Scott. So there's, there's a little, that little American graffiti on there. Woo, America. There's that. And I believe this thing's called the Black Hawk, I think. Let's see if I wrote it underneath. Yes, the Black Hawk. So it shoots out these like Piats. I guess they call them Piat launchers or whatever the fuck. Then over here, we got this giant thing. My buddy, um, my buddy, uh, Clint from Gamers with Coffee hooked me up with this thing. This is like a, uh, I guess you can, I don't remember what they're called, but you can like, it has two different barrels. You can put like this double like cannon barrel and then there's like a big flamethrower barrel. So it needs a little work, but uh, totally salvageable. And I'm going to totally, that's going to look sweet. Just like a big old super tank, super heavy tank. And then over here, we've got our, just kind of our walkers, our general issue walkers. So I've done a little converting on these. Um, because these are Americans, uh, the uh, the seventy six on the American uh, guns had kind of like a muzzle break, like it's this. The M one A one C gun. Whereas the the one that comes with the game is kind of rounded. That's a British version. But anyway, but that's this is called the Pounder. In that you know it's referring to the British uh, seventeen pounder, but Americans didn't use that kind of. But it's a seventy six millimeter on this one. Pretty sweet. It's got the co you know, it's got the, the hole mounted medium machine gun and it's got a 50 on top. So I've got a platoon of these guys. So this is that one. Now, these are my own creations here. Um, the rest of the platoon is going to be uh, decked out. These aren't quite finished yet, but not painted wise. But these are um, the same vehicle, but with 75s. So, and what these are, these are just aluminum. These are just, you can get these, you know, secondhand. These are from Aber. Um, these are basically aluminum 75 millimeter barrels for the M4s. So, and they fit perfect. That's what it looks like right there. So there's one there. And there's another one here. So I got a couple of them there. I call these guys with the 75s, I call them the stiletto walkers. Because the stiletto, you know, like a small little gun cool and then these two i'm working on they've got, again i've got the two barrels i haven't, haven't worked i haven't put them on yet but those will be converted into stilettos and in my weird world war ii um the americans obviously that's you know a platoon would uh would be five vehicles five walkers uh four with the 75s and one with the 76 so there you go guys that's my Dust American collection. Um, always in the always in the need for dust stuff. So if you guys know anybody that didn't want their dust stuff or got them on the cheap, let me know. All right, and we'll probably the next couple of weeks we'll go through the Soviet stuff or Soviet slash SSU, and then the German stuff. Let's see all the stuff we got. All right, there we go. Well, there you go, guys. My uh, Dust Americans collection. Uh, Dust is still out there. It's in the. It's in. You know, it's it's not being supported in by the company, but there's a huge following of fans out in the world still. So if you're still interested in Dust, give it a try. You could probably find the stuff. A lot of stuff online for free. Um, the STL guys are making Dust stuff. You can print out and whatnot. Um, I believe uh, Cool Mini or not bought the Dust IP. They're coming out with a new Dust version. It's not going to be. Any, I don't think it's going to be anything like the the um, Dust that we've known beforehand. I think it's going to be more kind of like a zombie side uh, turned into Dust. So, but we'll see what happens. I'm not really impressed with the new minis. A couple of them are okay, but most of them are kind of silly looking. But uh, 
we'll see what happens. Maybe I might be wrong. Might be some cool stuff coming on down the pipe. Uh, so keep your, uh, lots of cool dust, um, uh, Facebook pages, go check those out. You can, uh, community still pretty active. Um, so just cause game isn't being produced doesn't mean it's dead. So keep playing what you want to play and keep playing weird. All right, guys. See you.